Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2 The Shadows of Om. We are here in the circus tent, which as you can see does not necessarily look like a tent. I mean it's circular, like some tents are, not all tents, but uh, it's made of stone and it's it's weird. There's a lot of illusions going on and we yes. met our new friend Eri right here last episode as well she was an ogre but we freed her from that illusion and now she's traveling with us she's a, a cleric mage and we're gonna figure out what the hell's going on here we, f we just get into this town and the first tent we walk into something like this is going on congratulations heliax kala is most amused by your progress you may yet live as long as you continue to provide such entertainment are you ready to proceed what is going on here? Who is Kala? Fool, your process of discovery is part of the fun. As to Kala, he is the lord of this domain. Ere long, he shall be your lord. Are you ready to proceed? Proceed to where? I shall take you to the next part of our little game. Are you ready to go? If you refuse to give me a straight answer, then you must answer to Kel Kelimvor. Kelimvor? Who's that? Who's Kellenbor? Oh no, I'm ready. You do show some courage. Go then. You must gather your heart and All right, where there's Kala, we've got a werewolf, a shadow, a shadow, and oh, quail. Okay, so give me some direction. I'll help however I can. Fireball over there. I'm waiting. All of you onto them. You have led them here nicely. You're an ugly guy. <laughs> what? I'm not. <laughs> You're not what? You're not my beast? Oh, but you are. All of you are, don't you see? What? What have you done to my Uncle Quail? Little Airy, is that you? I have no eyes. No eyes. Be careful, Heliax. Some of these beasts are real, and some are illusions. There's no way to tell until you hit them. Yes, it's a regular three-ring circus, isn't it, my beast? Now go ahead and tear each other apart. Mm. What All can right. I do? Keep attacking. Um. You heal. point, I punch. This is a lot more exciting than any circus. Go ahead and charm him. Oh god. Um attack him. You will get those second chance. Swords Heal. not words. What do you need? Heal. I am skilled in avoidance. Okay. Minsk and Boo stand ready. You need something? What else do you got? Um Try and hold person on him. Every hamster you. His day. <laughs> Come on, you can finish him off. You require my counsel, yes? Alright, he's dead. Good. All of you onto this guy. I think armored, sharpened, and rare where Minsk goes, you on him. Evil yes? stands aside. Is his voice a little loud? It might be a little loud. What else have we got here? Color spray. Um, cure his wounds. Great fun! Right, I think he's held right now, so that's great. Alright, he's dead. Kala's dead. Oh, and that ends it. Fantastic. Am I inbred? <laughs> I doubt it. I highly doubt that I am inbred. I know who my father is. I want to put it past my father to do something like that, but as far as we know, our father did not have any other family members. 
that were mortal. Let's hope that. <laughs> hope not. Everybody else, I don't know. Uh, I don't know their family history. Mm, no, we killed you so we could leave, to be honest. What has passed here, gnome? You replaced the circus with your personal playground? You deserve to die, gnome. How many have suffered to, so that you might keep your illusions of grandeur? You're done talking, gnome. You'll be dead in moments. What happened to the tower? It was all an illusion? None of it was real? None of it was real? Your grasp of the obvious rubs salt in my wounds. My world, my triumph. All gone. I, an arm, a mage is a criminal, and a gnome is a spectacle. In this tent, in my world, Kala was the master, where none would dare to laugh. Hmm. What are the circus employees, Kala? I think, I guess his name is just Kala, right? What have you done with all these, all those who have disappeared into this tent? You're done talking, gnome. Yeah, what have you done with everybody else? Indifference... Indifference killed those fools from the circus. I treat them in death as they were to me in life. A gnome gets no respect. I just wanted people to look up to me. All that I have done. What? What a pitiful little man. Everyone did laugh at him, but they didn't deserve to die. I... I just can't hate him, despite all he's done. Well, that's okay, Eric, because luckily for you, I hate him. <laughs> The gnome is dead. How he was able to perform these great feats of illusion will have to remain a mystery, it seems. Really? Is it a mystery? I mean, it's the genie. Come on. Bye-bye, oh. Kala. Uncle Quail, you're okay. Huh. I knew Kala wouldn't, would, would trip over himself eventually. I'm just pleased he despised me enough to play with me rather than dispose of me like some of the others. Oh, Quail. What would I ever do without you? I... I think you need to find out, my dear. I've taught you everything I can. It's time, Ari. Time for you to learn the rest of your... On your... The rest on your own. You... You're the wisest and smartest and the kindest man I'll ever know. I wasn't always, my dear. You changed that, dear Ari. But I can keep you here for myself... But I can't keep you here for myself forever. Oh, Quell, I would miss you. Then you shall have to come and visit me from time to time and tell me what you've learned. Go. Go with my blessing, girl. All right. Take take care of the circus while I'm away. Oh, don't worry about me. If you find happiness, maybe the pain of losing your wings will be will be lessened. Nothing would please me more. Be well, Eri. Okay. Well. I guess you're stuck with us, Eri. Give me some direction. for now. Let's see what we got here. We got a girdle and a ring. Money. Bullets, a gem. A whole bunch of scrolls. We'll take all that. A whole bunch of gold. That's nice. That's very nice to have. Go and give these scrolls to Ari. Ari, I... You're swell last, but... I'm not so sure you're going to fit in with the group I'm going to be building. Yeah, Elves Bane. An infamous highwayman, highwayman in his day. Pandar of... Uh, Scardale made quite a name for himself, vexing the elves of Cormanthor Forest. To their annoyance, he continually used the wood to escape the law. And with the aid of this girdle, the elves' arrows as well. Unfortunately for Pandar, pit traps and starvation proved a slower but effective substitution. Plus three versus missile attacks. And piercing attacks. Okay, that's cool. And then here, we do have a scroll. So let's do that. Ring of Human Influence. For seven years, Count Fisfnilt Fisf 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 <laughs> searched... <laughs> that, that's, that's the name they got from like a random name generator. And I don't... I'm sure they had them back then. Some sort of random name generator, even if it was like a pa pen and pencil one. Pen and paper one. Um, Count Fisfnilt searched the realm for a suitable bride for his son, Union. Unfortunately, all the women that Fisfnilt, Fisfnilt, Fisf, Fisfnilt. <laughs> this is probably one of these letters are not pronounced more than likely. Found were not up to the standards set by, by Union. 
an impossibly spoiled man. Desiring an heir, desiring an heir and impatient with his son, the count and the court mage fashioned this ring. He gifted the ring to a woman of no small courtly influence, and Eunin was instantly smitten. They wed three weeks later. Equipped abilities, charisma up to 18. Charm person once per day. Oh, neat. I think I will take that, and she will take this. You have that for crushing attacks. I can give you that. I'd rather you not take that, and you can have that. And you can have that. All right, so that puts your charisma up to 18. Yep, that's nice. What can I do? Um, can you learn any? You can learn this scroll, Infravision. There you go. Put the rest in the spell case or scroll case. I'm waiting. Okay. Yeah, circus I'll performer, circus it. worker, quail. How do we get out of here? Is that is that the uh, boy's brother? Maybe we can get a reward out of her. I thank you, my good man, for helping us. Caleb was a fine illusionist, just more deluded than anyone knew. Take care of my airy, then, will you? I have a question to ask you. A friend of mine has been imprisoned by the cowled wizards. Do you know where they keep people they capture? Yep, we'll ask him these things. Hmm. Cross the cowled wizards, have you? Hmm. Beware, Heliax. They have deep roots here in Athkatla. If they've taken someone, the person is gone. Best just to accept it. Well, no, that's not going to happen. Your only, your only other chance would be to get help from an organization just as powerful. Okay, like the Shadow Thieves, maybe? What do you need? What do you know of the Shadow Thieves? Not much. They rule the docks, so some say. And the local guard won't even go there. Probably the safest part of town, if you ask me. Hmm. The place that the guards don't go are the safest part of town. Interesting. I've heard some nonsense about someone challenging them, but I don't put stock in it. The Shadow Thieves have as much power as the cow cow cowled wizards, you know? If someone's challenging them, the, bu the Blood Scalp, that's what they call their leader, I hear. He'll deal with them, sure enough. I wouldn't get involved, where are you? Well, you just told me I need to get somebody as powerful as cowled yeah, wizards to deal with the cowled wizards. And you said they were as powerful as the cowled wizards. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing... Getting involved. Legs and hands. I have hands again. I am free of this horrible place. Thank you so much. I must. Giran, I hope my son hasn't gone far. Mama's on her way. Yep. Uh, money, please. No? Give me some direction. Okay. I'm there. Ungrateful people. I swear. You also did your job. The glory of arms. I just wanted to thank you, citizen, for doing such a fine job. You've saved us more than a little trouble with that gnome. The city thanks you, truly. Mm. I have a question. A friend of mine has been imprisoned by the cowed wizards. Do you know where they might be keeping her? Well, they would have imprisoned her wherever they keep their magic-using criminals. And they keep the location of their prison a secret. Sorry about your friend, but that's the way it is. Mm. Have you heard of the Shadow Thieves? They're, they are a power here in the city. And they're everywhere you look. If you intend to deal with them, friend, be wary. I'll be going. Very good, citizen. You have my thanks once again. Hey, kid. Your mom's safe. Who are you? Thanks for saving my mother, sir. Papa will be so happy. Yeah. I got more experience. No, my reputation! I'm waiting. No! It's probably best left to me. Terrible. Okay. Here's Snake. Adventurer Mart. We got some named people here. I guess we'll explore just the center part first. Let's go this way. I see these guys over here. We'll get to them. There's Mira. Hello, Mira. Anything you need, I can likely provide. I assure you. Good business to you. I have not seen you here today. Have I the fortune of meeting a stranger to the city of Coin? Yes, I am new to Athkatla. My name is Heliax. Pleased to meet you. I am new, yes, but my business is my own. No, I have seen... Or I've been in the city for some time, actually. Never mind, I'll be on my way. Yes. I am Mira, proprietor of this stall and its wares. You've been delivered by... You've been delivered by Pearl to me, I think. Have a look at my stock and ask me whatever you wish. Certainly, can I see what you have for sale? Um, 
An inn. What do you think about inns? You're an adventurer, my lord, no? You might find others of your ilk at the Copper Coronet in the slums. That seems to be the hot spot, huh? Um, cowed wizards? The wizards? Ah, tis red ink to even discuss them. Magic is foreclosed here in Om, in Om and I know little of the wizard and wizards in their kind. Okay, shadow thieves. Shadow thieves? I know little, lord. There, and consider myself up a pearl for the lack. All the crime in the city can be attributed to them. Hmm. Special equipment? I sometimes have a bobble or two of such such a quality in my wares, but not often. All right, let's see what you got. But of course, you'll find that Mira is no kobold when it comes to quality and affordability. I like the sound of that. Here, you can have that. What else we got? Um, I don't really want to get rid of these things just in case we... Because we don't know what other companions we're going to get. Yeah, the studded leather, though. All right, what do you have? Anything super duper cool? Um, it's a good ammunition, potions of healing, potions of heroism. I don't think we're gonna buy anything from you though. Yeah. Hey, Thank you, Mira. This is the land of okay, we got like an airship here. And in a plane? A flying machine of gnomish design. It looks a bit unstable. The sign, uh, the sign on this machine states the name of its own inventor, one Eduardo Jansen. Jansen? There's a snake in here. Oh, can we go all the way over here? Yeah. So this is all open. Interesting. Omni Omnian soldier. All right. Let's go talk to these guys in the middle. There's a boy. There's Fergus. But we got Harold and Mrs. Harold here. And Hawker. As well as Moose. <laughs> I think that's just a moose. We're mighty grateful for everything you've done, my lord. Yes, now our trip won't have been a waste at all. Have I helped you? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, you're welcome. A sign states this device was built to travel underwater. Strange a concept as that might be. Uh, that's actually kind of useful. And who might you be? I think what you've done is so heroic. Yeah, well, thank you. I'm assuming they're talking about the circus. They must have come here to go to the circus. Hawker. Step right up. Step right up. Come, enter the adventurer mart. Behind me, you will find all the equipment any adventurer needs. What did they sell? Weapons, both magical and plain. Stolen armor from the layers of dragons. Scrolls of sorcery. Anything you need, we have. Sounds great. Let's go check it out. All right. Nobleman Gareth, Brelm, and Ribald. Eh? Babs, your eyes are better than mine. Do you see any salamander dust here? Uh, no, I don't. What do you need that for? Why not just ask the storekeeper? What do you need that for? Hmm. You're not a cowed wizard, are you? Hmm. Hmm. It's for soup. Yes. That's it. Salamander soup. For my... Uh... Children. And things. Did you see it or not? Hmm. Why not just ask the storekeeper? Ribald? We are not on speaking terms. He tried to charge me for... He tried to charge me three coppers for a bottle of pitch and a clutch of mice tails. Outrageous. I won't speak to him until he apologizes. How do you buy anything here, then? Very quietly. Now look. It's too much for an old man to ask. Is it too much for an old man to ask? Do you see any bloody salamander dust or not? Hmm. Why, hmm. Yes. Yes, I do. Way over all, way over at the other side of the store there. I don't have time for this. Uh, flower pots and fornication. An old man asks for some help from a younger, and what does he get? Attitude, Colonel. Yep, that's that's how it happens, man. Hate to say it, Brown. Hello. 
I need a swig of some strong dwarven ale. Ah, uh, but I do miss me adventuring days. Oh, what adventuring days? Me adventuring days. When I was an adventurer, true. Blast it. Does I have to be spelling it out for you? I thought you were a cobbler. Well, uh, well, I does some cobbling now, sure. But before that, I was an adventurer. Oh? And where have you been? Oh, mighty and experienced adventurer. I... Well, if you must be knowing, I was well known in the Scornabel for a time. Ah, so you must have met Lord Francis then. Or General Six Fingers? They both lived there, last I was in Scornabel. Uh, well, I... No. Sometimes I really do hate you, Ribald. <laughs> Hello, Ribald. Ribald Barterman at your service. Ribald Barterman at your service. I... Greetings to you, good sir. I trust all is well. It is well enough, Miss Jahira. You will not bring Harper trouble to me, to me doorstep, good lady. Might I remind you that me days of involvement with your kin are long over? I am not here uh, in in. I am not here in an official capacity, suspicious one. There's no need to worry. <laughs> With your kin, there's always need to be worried. There's there's always there always be need. <laughs> there always be a need to worry, but I should mind my manners. Yes, please excuse me. Rubel Bart or ben Barterman, at your service. My adventurer mart is the finest shopping in all Faerun. Widest selection, lowest prices, and nary a fancy illustrate or uh, and nary a fancy illustration. Just the goods, bare and plain. No thanks. We're just looking for now. Yes, there are some items we're interested in. Maybe later. This place is too damn big to make a decision quite yet. What a dump. I was wondering if I could ask you a couple questions. Questions first. You certainly can. What's on your mind? A friend of mine has been taken prisoner by the cowled wizards. Do you know where they would have taken her? Ah, too bad. A friend came in from Riatavin Riot about a year back, a mage named Terse. His mule had gone lame, and he'd summoned a floating disc to carry his supplies. They captured him, of course. Terse should have known better. I'm sure he thought a disc was harmless enough, but those wizards are strict about their licenses. I tried looking for him, but the cowled wizards aren't easy to find. Nobody knows where they stay here. And they never let out where their magical prison is. It's a travesty that the council gives them so much power. Mistra only knows what they do with their prisoners. Wish I could help you more, but I have never heard from Terse again. Couldn't we just, like, cast magic ourselves and then they come take us? I mean, it's probably not the safest way to do it, but... It's a, it's a possibility, right? What do you know the Shadow Thieves? It's not an area I keep up with. They run the docks. The man to talk to is called the Blood Scalp. Word has it, they're in some kind of fight right now, but who knows? Hmm, I see. All right, store will be here when you return, I'm sure. <laughs> the Adventure Mart's the finest shopping what do you got? Widest selection, lowest prices, and nary a fancy illustration. Just the goods, fair and plain. Music to me ears. There's a customer born every minute in a, in a rube soon after. What will it be for you today? Alright, so I'm expecting you to have some good stuff. You got a battle axe plus one. You know what we could get is another mace for, um... For him. We can't steal from this guy, interestingly enough. Hmm. Oh, there's a plus one mace we could get for him. Hmm, I don't know if we're going to spend that. I think we'd rather get things for Heliax first. And not necessarily because of things that would uh, benefit Heliax more. Staff of Rin. Plus four. 21,000. There was a time when magic was distrusted even more so than now, and the burning of heretics was woefully common. Delmary, a witch from the swamplands near Mithrim, Mithrin, faced such, just such a fate when she was blamed for an unseeable or unseasonable drought. Taken by surprise and sentenced by a mob, she was put to the torch in the village square. 
With a dying breath, she uttered a foul curse, fueling the fire to an unstoppable magnitude. By dawn, the entire village was reduced to black coal, save the burnt remnant of the pole Del Delmery had been bound to. This staff has been imbued with the same with some remnant of Dalmarie's power, making it a highly enchanted weapon. Ooh. 1d6 plus 4. So it's just a plus 4 quarter staff. Still, that's really good. 2100 or 21,000 gold. Hmm. What else he got? There's a short sword plus 1 we could get. That might be good. Do you have two of them? No, he has one of them. If he has anything else. It's awfully quiet. I feel like there should be music playing right now. Some good leather armor. Karaja's Life and Death plus three. Karaja was Kalimshen's champion of pit fighting for a full decade and seemingly unbeatable. His success, or so he claimed, was due to the mobility that his light armor afforded him. He may well have been unaware of the suit of the suit's other qualities, but his peers ignored his claims of ignorance when enchantments were discovered. The armor's the armor survived just the armor survived the subsequent beating, whereas Kara Kara Karaja did not. Okay. So it's just it's just a good set of armor. Armor of Deep Night. Hmm. Enchanted ebony rivets adorn the black leather of this armor. Umberly, the Sea Queen, granted this armor to Damidarn. Damidarn, a rogue who slew the conjurer Luxel. Luxel? The assassination pleased Umberly, for Luxel had betrayed her in years past. Damidarn died years later, a knife to the back from her successor in the Thieves' Guild. It's a good set of armor there, too. And then we got Anger's Hide as well. Ooh. This heavy and thick bear hide is all that remains of the fabled Aegir. Several hundred years ago, the Aegir, a giant bear, terrorized hundreds of small villages up and down the Sword Coast. The bear was invulnerable to fire, cold, or acid. Finally, the young men and women of several villages band together, forming a militia almost 200 people strong. The Aegir was surrounded and finally slain. Less than a dozen villagers survived. Jesus. And they carved the Aegir's hide amongst themselves. One out of one of the pieces, this armor was created. Immunity to confusion. Oh man, I want this thing. That's really good. 14,000. It's not too expensive. Some good shields. Ring of the Princes. The Victor. Good bracers here. A lot of good potions. Okay, you, all right, you've got some good stuff. Oh, <gasps> take that. That's needed. That is necessary. And we're gonna get the short sword. I think that's what we'll get now. I believe this is thirteen hundred gold. So we're gonna go ahead and equip this right here. These are both short swords, right? Yeah. So you'll be good there. I'll put that there. A bag of holding would be great, by the way. Uh, do you have the mace on you? Yeah, go ahead and give that to Minsk. Minsk. Mace. And mace. There you go. And then we can sell this. What can we do to make your dreams come true today? Make my dreams come true. Short sword, too. Give me some direction. All right, anybody up here? We got uh, Deidre and Lucy. Looks like a wyvern. Hello. Greetings, good customer. A pearl to you. Greetings, adventurer. I am Deidre. I am a member of the Aurora's Magic Emporium, and I have access to their considerable collection of magical treasures. Would you be interested in taking a look at my wares? Hell yeah. Oh my. So she's got the she's got the good stuff. Okay. You've got armor, helmets, a halberd, a harp, amulet. This is a katana. It is a katana. Oh my. We got this one, which is a long sword. 
Some really cool stuff. Shield of Baldurin. Wait, the Sword of Baldurin, isn't this? That's not the same one we had, is it? We didn't have the Sword of Baldurin, I don't think. Played a Baldurin. Cool. Can't afford anything, but it's great to know that you're here. Let's keep that in mind. Got Lady Yath over there, too. Somewhat haughtily, Lucy turns away at your approach. The wyvern ignores you. That's fine. Lady Yath. Is it important, peasant? Hello there. I've been watching you since you entered. I suspect you may have need of my wares. What do you got? Magical scrolls, illegal, of course, which is why I must charge so much for them. Have you no fear of the cowed wizards? Those pompous fools? They are as corrupt as anyone else in this city. If you know who to talk to... Now, are you interested or not? Perhaps you could tell me whom to talk to amongst the cowed wizards, then. I'd be interested in that. Aye, I'd imagine you would be. One of the wizards by the name of Corneal decides who gets the licenses, license to use magic here. Bring plenty of coin if you go to see him. Corneal, okay. You could probably find him in the government building in the government district. Now, would you like to see the wares I have to offer or not? Yeah. Good. Take your time. Magic is not something that should be rushed. Okay. Are you just a scroll seller? Anything else you got? Another scroll case we could get. Um, I mean... We can steal from her. And we will do so gladly. Okay, so she got two scroll cases now. We should be good with scroll cases for, for a little bit. Let's head on out and continue exploring the promenade. Alright, we got Ing's shop. Cern's former home. Let's explore down here first and then we'll go up here and, and look around. I'm there. Storekeep there. Leopard. We got Fergus up here, right? Let's go talk to him. Hello, Fergus. The, the circus has been saved? Oh, I must see this for my, myself. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. I guess everybody wanted to see the circus saved, huh? I am, um, you know, great. Lord Opal and Lady Opal. Hello, Lord and Lady. My time is quick, so be brief, commoner. Ah, oh, good day to you. I am Lord Dermod Opal. This is my wife, Lady Shireen. We, we have we. We have we we have we. Hmm. What do you think, my dear? I think the skin tone is wrong for a Kalashite. Indeed, Cremerian, perhaps. Nonsense. Not nearly enough class. Waterdeep, perchance? Mm, not nearly civilized enough to be from Waterdeep, darling. Now you're just being silly. Well, you don't think they're Omnian, do you, sweet? Certainly not. They don't look half so wealthy as to be Omnian. Excuse you. Listen. My servant... Well, not my servant, but the Duke's servant... Lost all my cash, okay? And then died before he gave give it back to me. Actually, he did find it, but I forgot to go and get it. <laughs> well then, why am I speaking to them? Agreed. Shh. They hear us. Excuse us, but we've decided to snub you. Yes, we have. Good business then, and good day. Give me some Lovely people. If it must be done. What are these things? What are these horns or tusks or something? That's weird. Priest of Talos. I trust you are here in good faith. Beware the streets at night, my children. There are strange things taken from the coffers of your lives. Best invest in the day to be certain of many returns. Are you trying to warn people? Of what? No one seems to be paying you any mind, sir. Perhaps if you spoke clearer. What are you warning people of? Of the darkness that threatens the trade of day. As the takers of coin face blood letters foul. Walk not the streets beyond the last call of day. All right, I've listened, and I can make no sense at uh Sounds more like dogma than a coherent warning. Speak plain your concerns. Number two. I speak the words of the spirit in the form that I must. If it does not prove plain enough, the listener must examine their faith. That said, I do not suppose there is much harm in 
stating plainly what, that walking the streets at night are dangerous. Seems quite like common sense to me. Is there more to it than the obvious? Number one. It would seem to be a war between dark and darker. One that I am hesitant to say who should win. I know little more than this. I am not much help. But if a single person quickens their steps because of my word of warning, then I have done well. Safe travels, friend. Yeah, but what if your warning has stalled me enough that I won't finish my business by nightfall and... Nah, I'm gonna die. Because of you. Hello, Mertlin. We also got... Uh, Corteris over there. Hi. This the way you talk to everyone, or is it just the poor people? You. Have you ever been cheated here? I bet you have. Me? Actually, I can't even remember the last time someone cheated me of anything. For the glory of arms. Okay. Hello. The oh, there's steps there. My time is quick, so be brief, commoner. Ah, good business to you, my lord. My name is Corteris. Might you be interested in some artwork? A painting to add style to your abode? Do we get a house? Is there player housing? No, I don't. Well, I am afraid that I am only a purveyor of fine works of art. If you're not a customer of refinement and wealth, then you have no interest in being here, I am sure. Good business to you. And good to you as well. I'm waiting. It's probably best left to me. So this is a weaponsmith. Okay. What's they got? What's they got? You'll find no better prices in arm. I guarantee. Aha! Mahir thinks you are just the sort of customer he was waiting for. Perhaps you are interested in weaponry. Mahir thinks you are. Hmm. I take it that you are Mahir. Indeed, I am. Mahir in Kadir El Sadit. Sadit. Sat Sadith. Most recently of Rashaman. At your service. You are coming from Rashaman? I remember it fondly and hope to take Boo to see it once I have completed my Dajima. Aha! Boo is your witch then, I take it. No. Boo is my hamster. And Boo is my friend. Oh. I. I see. I. Where was I? Ah, yes, my lord. You are uh, still interested in examining my wares, yes? Yes, show me. Most excellent. Examine my wares to your heart's content. Uh, Kasad Kasadi. And I'm sure you will find nothing to displease you. I'm already displeased. None of this is magical. Terrible. Waste of my time. Ooh, poison throwing daggers. Interesting. Halberds. Warhammer plus one. Sting plus one. That's actually pretty cheap. Considering, and buy one of those. I can't sell it back for the same price. I just realized we had the steel button. We probably could have stole it. Some good ammunition. Ah, eh, we're okay with that. Go ahead and give this to you. Here we go. And go back into here. Have a look at my wares. I trust you'll find them all in satisfactory condition. Oh, you don't want this link? Well, fine. Let's keep moving then. Not a concern. All right, so we're done with the ground level. Besides, like outside the promenade, we'll probably want to take a walk around to see if there's any NPCs out there. Now let's go check this room out. Hello. This is worth it. Is anybody Give me some direction. here? I'm waiting. No? Well, yeah, I'm just I'll see to it. help myself. You know, just checking to see if there's any uh, rats, rodents, pest, pest problems. Okay. Waste yeah, of my time. It's done. The gold was actually helpful. We're at, a, we're at a state where, like, any gold is going to be helpful. Ing shop. Alright. see what Ing's all about. Are you a vegetable and fruit person? I'm willing. Calumshites, Tetherians, Waterdavians, they all make their way here eventually to arm, they do. Hello. You are looking for, for something? Yeah? 
Do you be needing assistance? Yeah. <laughs> In can bink helping you. Excuse me. What was that? Er, uh, all right. Show me we have in stock. Show me we have in stock. Ah, good. We be having much fruit, yes. But you not be want wanting fruit, I be sure. I show you what else I be having. Come, I show you. I do sorry. I do sorry. <laughs> I am sorry if, uh, you know, I mess up that accent. I'm sure I did. I'm terrible with accents. Um, do you have anything good? I mean, you are a vegetable person. I don't think you would. You have armor. And a potion of healing with shrubbles. No one steals from me. <sighs> this Give me some isn't as wonderful it as I thought it would be. This I don't like this is enough to me. Well... Luckily, we probably never need to go to them again, right? Must not continue. Feel the burning stare of my hamster and change your ways. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Boo? I, I apologize. <laughs> Try to steal one single potion of healing and we get called out for it. Terrible. The store behind this door is small and sells only sundries, trinkets, foodstuffs, or other goods. Same with this one. Yeah. I right, got an armor and a Fletcher here. And I'm curious to know what this is. What is this? Nothing. Are we going to be putting like something in there at some point? All right, we got Perter and our Arnolinus. Arnolinus. Arnolinus? Yeah. I trust you'll find them all in satisfactory condition. Must honor Linus being disturbed at every opportunity? What is it you be what is it you being wanting? What manner of shop is this? What kind of name is Arnolinda Arnolinus? Arnolinus be a fine dwarven name if ye be taking issue with that. Mayhap ye nay be buying me armor. Arnolinus nay be needing to sell it to you. Well, not only are you oddly named, but you, you're a poor merchant as well. Let's see what you have in stock anyway. I'm, most, I'm always interested in good quality armor. Let me see what you have. Ah. Why you may be saying you... Why you, why you may be saying so when you first came in? When you when you first coming? <laughs> Everyone always being west, wasting Arnelinus' time. I miss Baldur's Gate where everybody spoke. In a normal accent. Ah, that's not right, is it? <laughs> Anything can be a normal accent. Proper? No, that's not right either. You guys know what I'm saying. My accent. There we go. Uh, full plate. And then plus one plate metal. Or plate metal plus one is less than full plate. Hmm. Interesting. Got anything good? Got some good shields. No. I'm waiting. Nothing I want. This behavior must not continue. This is worth it. Feel the burning Welcome stare of my hamster and change your ways. Greetings to thee, fair customer. Perder bids thee welcome to his shop and good fortune upon uh, thy negotiations. Uh, what do you have for sale here? I am renowned for my quality fletching and as a fair bower as well. Is it bower? Bowyer? Bowyer? I think I always pronounce it Bowyer. It might be Bowyer. I don't know. Dost thou care to per peruse my inventory of fine missile weapons? Certainly. Let me see what you have. Excellent. Predator bids thee to take care or take careful notice of his selection of finely fletched arrows on the far wall. Come. I will take thee through I will take thee through them. Alright, got some long bows, short bows, throwing daggers, things. Arrows of biting and dispelling. Those are nice. Ice. Arrow plus two. Good stuff. Good stuff. Nothing I need, though. Yeah. How's our reputation? We are disliked seven. Okay, Give that's fine. I'll see to it. Does the uh, reputation function the same way it does in the... Or did in the uh, first game? It's done. 
feel like this is the same levels I need to worry about. I think it was like two, three and two. Is around the area I need to start worrying. Hello, anybody home? I'm there. No? Alright, just, uh, you know, checking for water damage. Oh, there was some water damage in this drawer here. Must be done. I've taken care of it, though. It's all fixed. Okay, we got the ore merchant over here. Sir, you look like a it's man. probably best left to me. Down here? The ore merchant. I wonder who that is, or what they sell. Besides ore. Jerlia, the ore merchant. Hello. Greetings, good customer. A pearl to you. Get on with you. I don't deal with individuals. Bulk ore is what I sells. You need a few pebbles, you go scrounge it yourself. Okay. Fair enough, I suppose. You know, I don't know what it is. Like, I can't place it. But I already feel we are, what, maybe five hours into the game? I already feel like it's so much better than the first game. And that could just be like my, you know, coming in with certain preconceptions of the game. But it just feels good. Like the, the atmosphere feels really good. And the, the dialogue feels good. Everything feels good. Like even compared to like Dragon Spear, which I'm pretty sure is like a later addition to these these games, right? It's hard to place. It's just kind of reminds me of like, um, and I don't know if this was the game that they made right after this one, but it reminds me of uh, like the same kind of feeling I got with Star Wars: Knights of the Republic, in terms of like the just the the feel I have. I don't know. Maybe I'm just I'm probably just like, you know, what's the word? I don't know, like drawing conclusions based off of unrelated facts, you know, made by the same people around the same time. You'll find no better prices in our I guarantee it. I guess that, that those are pretty related facts, but <laughs> uh hello Lord. Would you care to purchase some of my high quality merchandise this evening? But no, this this feeling of being like in a strange new city with new cultures, new worlds, having you know, being complete strangers reminds me a lot of being on Terrace. I don't know. Let's move on. Let's see what you have. Mm, nothing I want. Nothing I want to spend my money on. It's not yet. Let's just walk around the outer edge here. Make sure we don't miss anything of importance. All right. So we can know where we can walk. Uh, I do want to go out this way. Out the main tunnel. Just in case there's something there. So let's go back through here. For those of you who have played this game... Do you, do you suspect? And I guess this, if you're if you're somebody who hasn't like watched me play the other games on the channel, you might not have a way to really estimate. But based on your own playthroughs of this game, do you think I will finish this game before Bulls Gate Two, Three? If I do two episodes. Of oh shit. Does this mean we need to get the hell out of here? Like, go to sleep? I'm gonna trust the, uh, priest. And we're gonna go... Go, go to sleep. I mean, Hawker and Harold are still out here. Wait. Are you the same guy? Was it Harold or Mrs. Harold? Is this important? Yes. What happened to Mrs. Harold? Alright. I know they told me that the uh, Copper Coronet is the place to go for someone of my caliber, but... 
I kind of like the uh, the moxie of this lady here. <laughs> so we're going to go to them. We can sleep here for the night. What is it? And it's actually getting pretty late in real life as well. I'm getting a little, little drowsy. So we might call it a night here. Uh, we're pretty much done with the promenade as far as I can tell. Um, so in the next episode... Oh, they don't have a royal room. Ugh. No room then. In the next episode, we will uh, see... I guess we'll go and try and find the dock district. Is where we're going to go first. But uh, that's for the next episode. Until then, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I will catch you later.